If you're struggling with bad mobile signal, you might be wondering if there's anything you can do to fix things. In this video, we've taken a look at 5 ways you can improve your mobile signal on 4G or 5G. But before we begin, if you're looking for a new smartphone or SIM only deal, click the link in the description to come to greensmartphones.com. Here, you can find the cheapest deals on any smartphone on the market in the UK at the moment, and also compare prices on SIM only deals. Just hit the search button and type in the phone you want to buy, then click through to the comparison page, and you can compare the cheapest prices on the market at the moment. So starting with the simple solutions, often to fix your signal, just turn airplane mode on and off again. What this is doing is basically resetting your connection to the mobile network, which can sometimes help fix your signal, especially if your phone has been on for a long time and hasn't reset its connection recently. This is because your phone might be locked on to a relatively weak signal, like from a suboptimal mast or something like that, and turning airplane mode on and off again forces the phone to reset its carrier settings, most of the time at least. When you turn airplane mode off, your phone should look for the strongest connection, helping you get better signal from that point on. And it's also worth mentioning, as well as doing this, you could also try restarting your phone completely if you haven't done this for a while, basically for the same reason, just to ensure you have all your bases covered. But most of the time, using airplane mode is enough to reset your connection. The next thing to look at is whether your mobile signal is being interfered with. This might be happening if you notice your signal is dropping off in certain areas, even though you know you should have good signal based on the network coverage map, or the fact that if you move like 50 meters or so, your signal becomes good again. Common culprits for this are things that emit Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signal. This is why your mobile signal might be really bad if you're in an office or something like that. But if you can, you might want to consider moving things like Wi-Fi routers and baby monitors to see if this helps you get better signal. Also, your mobile signal can be interfered with by buildings or terrain, although these days this is a bit less common. What you might find happening is, your speeds slow down a lot when you go in certain buildings, especially on 5G, which is more prone to interference. In this case, there's not a lot you can do about this, except try different mobile networks, which we'll talk about a bit later. But for more common types of interference, the best thing to do is start unplugging different devices that could be causing this, and trying to find the culprit. For example, try turn off your Wi-Fi router for a bit, and see if your signal improves at home. Then once you've found the device that's causing the issue, try and move it somewhere else if you can. Or you might need to switch Wi-Fi router, or change its Wi-Fi settings, so it's not interfering with the same frequencies your mobile phone is using. Although this can be a bit tricky, especially if the problems are happening at an office or somewhere where you can't control what the router is doing. Wi-Fi calling is a good thing to check, especially in the previous situation where you think there might be interference, but there's not a lot you can do about this. A lot of people don't know this, but most modern mobile phones can use Wi-Fi to make calls, meaning you don't really have to worry about interference, from Wi-Fi routers at least, because when you have good Wi-Fi, you can still use your phone without worrying about your 4G or 5G connectivity. To do this, go into your phone settings and look for Wi-Fi calling, then just check that it's turned on. Once you've turned it on, there's nothing else you need to do, and your phone calls will just begin working like normal. If you don't have Wi-Fi calling on your phone though, you can still use Wi-Fi to make calls, using apps like WhatsApp or Viber. This might be a good last resort if your phone signal is getting interfered with, and you can't move the Wi-Fi router or whatever's causing this problem. Although it might be a bit of a hassle, the next best thing to do to improve your signal is to switch to a network with better coverage where you are. When you do this, it really pays to do your research and find the best network where you are. If you come to greensmartphones.com, linked in the description, then find a phone or a SIM only deal on a network you're interested in, click more details on the deal, then come down to the coverage checker here. The big four mobile networks in the UK at the moment are EE, O2, Vodafone and 3, although Vodafone and 3 are looking at merging at the moment. So we'd recommend checking your postcode with these four networks. Then once you find a network that's good, you can consider other small mobile networks that lease network access from that big four network. For example, this network here called Voxy leases access from Vodafone and ID Mobile leases access from 3. So it's just these big four companies you need to look at to begin with. So if we click here to go to the three coverage checker as an example, we can check a postcode to see what coverage is like. We recommend checking a few different locations, such as at home, 
around town, and at work, as well as anywhere else you frequently visit, to see what coverage will be like. So if we check this postcode, we can see 4G coverage is really good here, but 5G is a bit patchy. So if your phone is 5G compatible, and having fast speeds is important to you, 3 might not be the best choice here. In terms of overall coverage, especially in remote areas, EE is normally the best choice, but they are a bit expensive. So make sure to click the link in the description to come to greensmartphones.com and then click through to a few different coverage checkers to see if another network offers better signal at your address. If you're really struggling with your signal on any network, there's one more solution, although it is a bit of a hassle and is quite expensive. You can buy these signal booster things to get better mobile signal in certain parts of a house. Basically, you set one end up near a window, ideally on the side of the property nearest to the closest mobile network mast, like this, and then this receiver thing plugs into this broadcaster, which you can put somewhere else in the property, sort of in a similar way to how a 4G or 5G Wi-Fi router works. It picks up signal with more antennas and better tech than what's available in your phone, and from a more optimized position, free of interference near a window, and then rebroadcasts the signal internally for your phone to use. But we only recommend these devices as a last resort because they're really expensive. Most of the time, if you can, you'll have more success switching mobile network to another provider with better signal at your address, or ideally by switching to Wi-Fi calling if that works for you. So ultimately, improving your mobile signal and speeds can be a bit tricky, but using these methods, there's a good chance you'll be able to improve things a decent bit. But persistence is key, and we recommend trying all of these solutions in order, if you can, to get the best results, which is why we've ordered these methods from easiest to hardest. And remember, if you're considering switching mobile network to get better signal or to save money, make sure to click the link in the description to greensmartphones.com to find the cheapest deals, no matter whether you want a new phone contract or a SIM only deal. And if you have any questions about improving your mobile signal, leave a comment below and we'll help out.